Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do banking and financial awareness for the month of October 2024 so this is part one of the video and i'm also covering RBI circulars theek hai jo major RBI circulars ki updates hain wo bhi hum cover karenge so let's start the session and before starting let me tell you IBPS RRB scale to scale 3 2025 course has been started and it's available on bankexamstudy.com Links are available in the description. This is the WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer all your doubts. Okay, so let's start the session with IDBI Bank launches OTS scheme for the retail NPA borrowers. So, Sugam uh, Sugam Rin Bhugtan Yojana by IDBI. So, one-time settlement scheme aims at recovering. the dues from the npa account holders theek hai jinhone paise nahi diye so the scheme targets a borrower with the principal outstanding between 10 lakhs to 10 crore so retail borrowers whose loans uh, turn npa by 31st of march 2021 and that remain npa as of august uh, 31st uh, 2024 so uh, this is a scheme for the npa uh, the scheme offers waivers on the interest expenses with specific terms for guaranteed emergency credit lines theek hai so bank specific scheme hai not very important for other exams theek hai so what is the minimum upfront uh, payment required by borrowers under the sugam scheme uh, by 31st of december 2024 इस टेन परसेंट ऑफ द सेटलमेंट अमाउंट अप फ्रंट पे करनी पड़ेगी बाय द बोरोवर्स ठीक है टू द आई बैंक अंडर द सुगम स्कीम सो तेलंगाना बिकम्स अ फर्स्ट स्टेट टू गेट नीति आयोग वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप प्लेटफॉर्म चैप्टर दिस इज इट सेल्फ इम्पॉर्टेंट सो तेलंगाना इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू लॉन्च द नीति आयोग वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप प्लेटफॉर्म चैप्टर राइट सो पहला चैप्टर यहाँ पर ओपन होगा राइट द डब्ल्यू ई पी तेलंगाना चैप्टर एम्स टू सपोर्ट वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप बाय प्रोवाइडिंग दम वेरियस टूल्स राइट विच स्टेट लॉन्च द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ नीति आयोग वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स तेलंगाना न्यू फ्रेमवर्क टू कर्ब एक्सेसिव स्पेकुलेशन इन द स्टॉक मार्केट सो आई होप यू आर यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ द ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग डन बाई लॉट ऑफ स्मॉल ट्रेडर्स स्पेशली द यंग ट्रेडर्स बड़े छोटे छोटे बच्चे आजकल स्टॉक मार्केट में ट्रेडिंग कर रहे हैं सो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर लूजिंग मनी राइट सो दैट इज वाई द से बी एंड ऑल्सो द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दे डोंट वॉन्ट पीपल टू uh they don't want everybody to start uh, doing uh, option trading it's it's bad for the economy right so the security exchange board of india announced a new framework to curb excessive speculation in the stock markets first of all a minimum investment has been increased right from current uh, range of 5 5 10 lakh rupees to 15 lakhs so minimum investment badha di hai and the premium option premium should be collected up front up front collection no loans should be provided by brokers removal of calendar spread based benefits right you cannot offset positions across different expiries so uh, you are taking call option for this month and put option for next month you cannot do that right so intraday monitoring of position limits uh, from 1st of april 2025 stock exchanges will begin intraday monitoring of position limits for equity derivatives reduction of weekly expiries so as of now even nifty is doing a lot of weekly expiries bahut sare contracts on weekly basis pe expire hote hain nifty is there bank nifty is there financial uh, services uh, uh, index is there so uh, they are going to reduce it higher margin requirements and additional extreme loss margin uh, requirement of 2% would be implemented to all open short options so 2% extra uh, jo margin liya jayega right so what is the new minimum investment requirement i mean uh, that's 15% in the in the index futures and option contracts as per the sebi's guidelines on 1st of october 2024 So MMRDA secures thirty one thousand six hundred and seventy three point seven nine crore loan from PFC, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region uh, Region Development Authority MMRDA has secured thirty one thousand six hundred and seventy three crore rupee loan from Power Finance Corporation to fast track nine crucial infrastructure projects in the Mumbai. 
so the loan will cover 80% of the project cost and remaining 20% would be funded through government grants okay so which organization secured 31,673 crore loan from the power finance corporation that is the Mumbai Metropolitan Mumbai Metropolitan uh, Regional Development Authority MMRDA in on a secure kia right um, government launches a prime minister internship program to provide 1.2 lakh internships. So this is actually very important. You're going to find question from this particular topic in your exam in the upcoming two th in any exam in next two, three, four months, uh, you will find questions from this particular topic. It's it's in the news everywhere. So the government uh, has indeed launched uh, the prime minister internship program, the students uh, they can get internship. Uh, the, this initiative aims at providing 1.25 lakh internship at top 500 companies. And the students are going to get 5000 rupee stipend and 4500 would be, uh, you know, uh, compensated by the government of India. Okay, so youth aged between 21 to 24 and qualification ranging from high schools to graduate degrees, they can apply for this program, right? Uh, so, agar aapki age 24 se 24 saal hai, to 5000 rupee internship you are going to get. So, what is the monthly stipend provided to interns under the Pradhan Mantri or the Prime Minister Internship Scheme? It's 5000 rupees. So, cabinet, uh, union cabinet merges central agriculture schemes into two new programs, right? So uh, the union cabinet, they decided to merge all the centrally sponsored schemes in the agriculture sectors into two umbrella schemes. The first one is Pradhan Mantri Rashtri Krishi Vikas Yojana and the second one is Krish, uh, Krishonati Yojana. So all the schemes would be, you know, merged and they will be into two uh, into these two categories. The combined expenditure uh, for these schemes is projected as one lakh uh, the uh, 1 lakh 1321 1 lakh uh, 1321 crore so that would be the combined projected expenditure so pradhan mantri rashtriya krishi vikas yojana with an allocation of 57074 crores it will focus on uh, promoting sustainable agricultural practices and krishi uh, the Krishi Unnati Yojana with the, uh, with the capital expenditure of 44,246 crore, it will address food security and agricultural self-sufficiency. So those schemes may bat jayega. So combined projected uh, expenditure for two merged umbrella schemes, 1 lakh 1,321 crores. India became the fourth country to have 700 billion dollars in forex reserves. 700 billion se zyada amare forex reserves hain. So 704 billion dollar, 704.89 billion dollars. These are the foreign uh, forex reserves of India right now. Employment in India up by 36 uh, percent as per the center reports. So that's what it is. Um, the Ministry of Finance kept the interest rate on small saving scheme unchanged for the third quarter of 2025. So it is important you should know the interest rate of PPF is 7.1%. Interest rate on Sukhanya Smriti Yojana is 8.2%. It is 8.2% on Senior Citizen Saving Scheme. It is 7.7% for National Savings Certificate. Okay. Uh, it's 7.5% for Kisan Vikas Patras, 4% uh, for post office saving deposit and 7.4% for monthly income schemes. So please remember that PPF or PPF it is 7.1%. Okay. India and Maldives signed several MOUs including the currency swaps a deal worth 400 crores. So what is the value of currency swaps that includes so 400 million between India and Maldives. ADB approves and now this is very important ADB approves 162 million loan for Himachal Pradesh tourism development. So ADB has approved 162 million uh, dollar loan to support sustainable and inclusive tourism development projects in Himachal Pradesh. So it will also include uh, restoration of Nagar uh, castle in the Kullu right important from examination point of view. So 162 million dollar loan uh, given by ADB for sustainable and inclusive ter uh, tourism development project in Himachal Pradesh. 
CBDT released new guidelines for handling delayed tax refunds claim. So CBDT has issued new guidelines for handling delayed income tax uh, refund claims and uh, loss carry forward applications, right? So authority based claim amount for claims up to 1 crore handled by the principal commissioners of income tax between 1 crore to 3 crore managed by chief commissioners of income tax exceeding 3 crores processed by principal chief commissioner of income tax, right? So processing time authorities aim to process these applications within six months, right? So what is the maximum time limit for filing a condonation uh, application for delayed income tax refund or loss carry forward claims? Five years is a limit for that. SEBI introduced new regulations for uh, invites and REITs. So infrastructure investment trust and REITs, you can invest in real estate via stock markets. So I hope you're already aware of it. So lot size has, has been decreased from 1 crore to 25 lakhs. Pele 1 crore, tha, now it is 25 lakhs. Faster distribution, SEBI has mandated a distribution to the unit holders uh, and it must be completed within five working days from the record date and flexibility in the meetings. REITs and invites can now call unit holder meeting with less than 21 days notice. Electronic voting can be there as well. So what is the new trading lot size for privately placed invites as per the SEBI's latest guidelines? It's 25 lakh, it used to be 1 crore. So interest equalization scheme, it's an important RBI guideline. So the last date, uh, I mean the benefit of the interest equalization scheme would be available till 31st of December. It has been extended for another three months. Only MSMEs can take the benefit and there is a limit on MSMEs. The limit is 50 lakh rupees. The limit is 50 lakh rupees. It, it is capped till at 50 lakh rupees. Okay, 50 lakh rupees ka limit hai. And that's what, uh, I mean, the limit is and the benefit can be taken till 31st of December 2024. Any MSME which has already taken a benefit of 50 lakh, it, it cannot take uh, more benefit, right? 50 lakh ka takka benefit hai, isse zyada ka nahi le sakte, only MSMEs can take the benefit. So maximum fiscal benefit for MSME under interest equalization scheme is 50 lakh rupees and it can be taken till 31st of December 2024. PFC secures largest ever foreign currency term loan of 1.265 billion dollars power finance corporation it secures largest ever foreign currency term loan of 1.265 billion dollars, right? So the goal is to support PFC's uh, various projects and initiatives, right? The loan has a tenure of five years. So what is the primary purpose of 1.265 billion dollar? Bhoot bada loan hai, largest ever in, I mean, by any... Uh, corporation in India by any infrastructure company. So the goal is to support projects in the renewable energy sector. ICC Bank partners with the phone pay to offer instant credit uh, on UPI. So up to 2 lakh rupee you can take the instant credit on UPI uh, using the phone pay app. So maximum instant credit available on the phone pay app via ICC Bank that is 2 lakh rupees. Indian Navy signs an MOU with Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance for Naval Civil Civilian Insurance. So insurance would be provided to the to the to our soldiers in the Navy. So the primary to provide insurance product to the naval citizens. NSC to discontinue weekly contract. As I told you in the previous slides. Uh, there are a lot of weekly expiries. So the NSC has already discontinued uh, weekly contracts on uh, Bank Nifty, Bank Midcap Select, Nifty Financial Services. These has been discontinued. So there will be monthly contracts on these, uh, these contracts, right? These indices. So uh, Bank Nifty, Nifty Midcap Select and Nifty Financial Services has been discontinued by NSC not discontinued their their derivative contract weekly derivative contracts have, have been discontinued facilitating accessibility to the digital payment system for person with disability guidelines by the rbi rbi had uh, 
has uh, notified that the POS machines should be friendly for the uh, disabled people, right? They should follow the guidelines. Both banks and authorized non-payment non uh, bank payment providers they must uh, follow these guidelines. India placed in a serious category in the Global Hunger Index. India's rank is actually 105 out of 125, so which is actually bad. So 105 is the rank of India in Global Hunger Index. That's what you should remember. IFC partners with the Axis Bank to provide to provide a 500 million loan to fund green projects in India. So International Finance Corporation they uh, they partner with the Axis Bank to provide 500 million dollar loan to fund the green projects in India. So it's an important question. Any loan by uh, international organization is actually important for your exam. Scheme guideline for implementation of innovative projects under the PM SGM BY. The Union uh, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy notified the scheme guidelines for the PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana. So Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana. So this scheme has an outlay of 75,021 crore. The scheme was notified now, but it was announced in the Union Budget Scheme this year, right? So the central government is going to provide assistance for uh, solar panels to the normal households, right? So how much financial assistance is offered for innovative projects under Su uh, PM Surya uh, Ghar Bijli Mufti Yojana? Up to 60% of the project cost or 30 crore, whichever is lower. The September 2024 round of RBI's bi-monthly consumer confidence survey says the confidence has been increased. Survey shows improvement in the consumer confidence. Uh, it uh, risen by 0.8 uh, points to 94.7, right? So Union Minister Shivra Chauhan launched a scheme uh, for uh, laid the foundation for 500 kilometer highway so it's not really a big news anyways uh, under the Avas Akhi mobile app uh, what was the name of the mobile app launched under the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana to enhance rural infrastructure and housing Avas Sakhi mobile app so RBI grants white label ATM license to Mumbai based EPS company so Tata communication payment solution India One Payments, Hitachi Payment Services and Vakranji. These uh, four already have the white label ATM license. Now the Mumbai based EPS company got the license, right? So electronic payment and services EPS got the license for white label ATMs, right? So I hope you like the today's session. We'll continue this class in the, I guess, tomorrow, right? Uh, till then, you can join IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 course in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series. Uh, link to join the course is available in the description. Please check the description list of our successful students in the previous years. All these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future. And yes, you will be one of them in the future if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and I am here to answer your doubts. So that's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.